Yeah, I'm filming. What's your first name, sorry? Jim. Jim. Jim Pinky Star. Thank you. Call me Pinky. Pinky, so can you tell me where we are here? What's it, what's it for? Yeah, it's, uh, we're here now for the 420 uh, at Hyde Park in London, in the UK. Um, a lot of us want cannabis legalised or deregulated in some way or another. And basically what we're doing, we've got medical users, recreational users, people who believe in this spiritual side of it, the healing side of it, so on and so forth, here to gather on this, what we pass the religious day, which is 420, which is the American 420. Oh, which is <laughs> springtime <laughs> and sometimes uh, for growth over the summer. So 420 at 420 is a very big uh, event for us. And there's people who don't know each other just come here to gather together to have fun and to show the people that just because you use cannabis it doesn't mean that you're a criminal. Nobody's felt threatened here. The police have drove past a couple of times, kept their eye on everyone, but had no problems with us, we had no stops. I medicated myself. Hey, no, no, yeah, yeah. A lot of you won't know who I am, but I'm Jim Pinky Star on Facebook. Uh, if you look me up, you'll find out everything about me. I, I'm basically a UK prescribed cannabis user of Sutterbex here in the U UK. Which is made by GW Pharmaceuticals. Now this isn't the best suited cannabis for myself and my conditions which are multiple spinal problems, arthritis, I have muscle spasms and different elements which the cannabis helps out with post-traumatic stress disorder as well. So it's got a very good mental and physical uh, ability to help me with great needs. So I get the Cetabex which is an alcohol based cannabis spray that comes from me doctor. Uh, it's okay yes, it's a little bit heavy and I got busted for growing cannabis twice and I was told in court by the judge and the barristers that if I want cannabis I've got to have it prescribed. So under the Shea Grem Agreement and the Geneva Convention I went over to Holland and saw a top consultant who would rather not be named and I was actually prescribed Bed Rocker which is the EU prescription available in Holland and it's widely prescribed in Holland, totally legal. Now we would like to see something like this in the UK but at the moment our government won't listen to us. So I brought this back, it was all announced in the press and everything and we covered on the Shane Graham Agreement and the Geneva Convention to be able to travel from country to country because your treatment cannot stop just because you're leaving the area. If you've got cancer and you've got chemotherapy, your chemotherapy will not stop because of borders. The Geneva Convention and the European laws allow the crossing of these so-called illegal drugs. The Drug Misuse of Drugs Act clearly also states that all drugs like heroin and that are illegal and it's prescribed by a doctor and dispensed by a bona fide chemist. I went over to Holland to see a proper doctor who was a specialist and got it dispensed by a chemist. So that is my bedrocken, which is my medicinal cannabis. I don't use it all the time, but I only went to it. And legally brought back to the UK. The police are fully aware of what I've done and their advice to the, uh, the head of the um, article writer, who also works as a freelance journalist, he called them and their response to him was we know exactly what Jim Starr has done when he breaks the law we will act accordingly I have never been interrupted to this day the home officer refused me an import license so I'm now going to try and find £4,000 to go over there again and get the other nine ounces I couldn't afford to bring the whole lot back but I brought three ounces back through customs and everything else with no problems at all smiling the face so, <laughs> meeting here, gathering, it's brilliant. We're not criminals, we're your everyday people. I'm happy, I've got my bud. These people haven't, so I would like to show my support to all and wish everybody a happy 420. Yeah. Right.
Thank you for Anything else? Yeah. If my medication is available for Hampton Blood Form, I personally would go and buy it from Blood Form. If you, <coughs> prices will come down, people will be educated, people don't be locking up in the prison for using cannabis, whether it's recreational, medicinal, spiritual, or whatever. They don't need help. If somebody does get into any problems, then the community, the cannabis community, do pull together and help people where they can. Yes. On criminals, like I said before, what will it mean if cannabis was legalised today? The police can have a lot more time going after the people they really need to go after. The, the real criminals, your rapists, your burglars. We don't rob. I don't pay a robin. Not that I could. But I can get out of bed by medicating. If it makes such a difference to me, you can get cannabis legally. What difference would it make to everybody else? They say, oh, it causes paranoia, which is their famous side effect from it. The only paranoia any toga in the UK or the world has, and which is the only infestation worse than spider mites which attack the cannabis plants, are the police. Simple as. That is where the problem is. The police do a good job, we all know. Some laws we agree with, some we think can be changed, and there is an awful lot of supporters. And myself and everyone else here would like to be free. Even yes. if it's just our personal mate to be able to carry around in our pocket, yes. keep it out of the public eye, we would like to just be free. Amen! If they could bring something in like in Holland where up to seven grams in your pocket, they turn a blind eye, it would be a start. How much more time would that free up? Please, we proved here today that we're not lost to people, we don't harm people, we've educated the public here today. They've come and seen what we're about, understood what we're about, and seen what nice people we are, and that's what we wanted to achieve today. And let the police see what would happen if it was legalised, and we came to the park and